guys <laughs> welcome and welcome again to my channel thank you for joining me yet again on my video for those that are just joining us i say welcome please join into this crazy family and make sure you subscribe and for, and for those that are just uh coming back i welcome you again remember to share my videos remember to comment happy valentine's day to everybody out there um it's valentine's today <laughs> We made a video about valentine's uh the red flags that you guys need to watch out before marriage so today it's now on the wedding day mm -hmm. we have dated and finally it's on the wedding day so today we will watch my traditional wedding we will watch my send off and we will watch my actual wedding so today is the craziest day it's valentine's guys let's relax okay we are wearing black but that's fine that's fine that's fine. Who said we should wear red all the time? Let's start with my... <laughs> it was Angoni traditional marriage so you know we were wearing all these things all these dances you know Angoni South African kind of you know theme the crazy thing that happened on my chin cosplay I had just arrived from a uh, school I was studying in Australia and I came back home to the Chinkoswe unfortunately a week after I landed Alicia got sick so Alicia is my first one right and she was admitted um, at the hospital she had malaria she got admitted like two or three four days before my Chinkoswe I was so stressed I didn't even really had time uh, so much time to rehearse at that time my mom had organized girls and those girls could dance i couldn't keep up so um, a day before chinko swear right i was at the hospital and then i figured you know what i i don't think i'm gonna have this wedding knowing that my daughter is in the hospital and i talked to the doctor i'm like i need to take my daughter home and the doctor is like no you have you can go and have your chinko so these guys here will take care of her blah blah, blah. but still guys i am still thinking no 
I don't how am I going to relax and enjoy my day and have fun when my daughter is actually sick so I persuaded and he allowed me he said okay you take her home and you go have fun at home but if you think that when you you're home and after the gym course the baby isn't still fine you can bring her back in my heart i was like i think he will be she'll be fine she will do better at home so i went home a day before my gym course i had to catch up on these dances that these girls are, are doing you know so hard <laughs> it was so hard i just couldn't do it gym course day has come but still my heart you know i am still stressed about alicia my cousin had alicia the whole time and she was pregnant and so she's calling alicia but dancing and blah, 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 this one. So now it's time for us to get in they are doing all these steps ah this is my head eh has forgotten everything now i don't know how to dance anymore everything has just disappeared in there hey <laughs> My friend who was my chief bridesmaid, she was also very nice and she figured, hey, this one can't dance. And you know what? She just said, Daddy, you know, let's just do this, you know, two step thingy. Mm, mm, mm. Going forward, Let, let's just go ahead, let's just do that one. <laughs> so, we, all these guys are doing all these things. Me and Gabby are just going like that, you know. Now, because this one is so easy, I've already mastered it. But then, as I was going forward, you know, with my style and cage going down like that, I even heard these two girls who <laughs> came for the wedding. She's like, yay, I'm going Like, she can't dance, she can't dance. And then when I, that was when actually, I was still trying to dance like the way those girls are dancing, right? I heard them saying, yay, I'm going to go And then the other ones at the back said, like, like, you know, they're, they're talking about me. And I am there, I am listening. I'm like, ah, chai. <laughs> I do I just get on with my two step or oh, two steps two steps going forward you know it's good Marvin is not Ngoni Marvin is from Zomba right so because it's 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 a Ngoni traditional marriage now they had to give him this attire and he's this Ngoni attire and now they prepare this chi thing in, in his head like this chi chi head gear and they wrap it around his head <laughs> When I got in, I looked at my friend, hey, he's wearing this thing on his head and he's dancing, you know. And then when, the, the moment I got with uh, close to him and, and we, we were talking as we are talking, and then he said, guy, my head is so painful. <laughs> this thing they put in my head, uh, 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 it had this rubber sort of like band, eh? So they had to put it in his head. And then they had to, you know, make it tight so that it doesn't fall or oh, what have you but guy that boy he suffered <laughs> overall it really ended up okay and <laughs> we danced and so on and now let's go to the send off Oh my God. 
So this thing happened on my send off. The preparations were okay. My friend's mom, who is also my mom's friend, Mrs. Jacob, she did an amazing job. She prepared the whole thing for me. On the send off, we were told that we needed to, Marvin had to go and buy some flowers that he had to give me. But then I made plans that, okay, I'm gonna buy these uh, flowers at this shop. I have forgotten the name of the shop, but it is just opposite uh, Lyons Hotel, something like that. It, it's been there for so long. It's owned by this white lady. I made my orders and I didn't pay because I was so busy. I told Marvin, I said, Marvin, you go to Crystal and you pay for the flowers. You know, when he went in there, he met this guy. The guy convinced him that, you know, I'll, I'll make you the flowers. You just have to give me the money. So like he has to give him the money behind the owner's knowledge. It was a bad door thing. And Melvin accepted. They organized this thing, right? And Melvin did not help. I was already at College of Medicine because that's where it, it happened. And then I'm calling Melvin. Melvin, what about the flowers? Where are you? Blah, blah, blah. You know, guys, I'm coming. And Melvin is one guy that doesn't talk too much, right? So I'm like, where are you? Where are you? Coming, I'm coming, and then he's not coming. Sad. So I was my, is my my good friend. So she was my chief bride. But so I was so calm. You know, she was so calm. She didn't talk much. But me nah, hey. And then um, he calls me. Says, okay, I'm in town. I'm like, I'm coming. So I'm in town, and we went to town. Now Marvin is with my cousin. I'm like I'm here. He's like, no, we are walking towards, going down towards um, Victoria Hotel on Victoria Avenue. And then I'm like. Ah, what are you doing over there? I'm like, he's like, I'm getting the flowers. What do you mean you're getting the flowers there? You were supposed to get the flowers here at this shop. No, it's a long story. Just come down there. Now I'm freaking out and I'm talking too much. We went there. I pick him up and then he's like, I'm meeting the guy down down the road. Let's go down the road. And then there's this guy holding the flowers. The extra. I'm like, what happened? And then he's not answering me really well, but he picked the flowers. He pays the guy and we are going. And me. Instead of just keeping quiet that, okay, I have received these flowers, it's fine, you know, let's go ahead, I'm just talking, 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 <laughs> talking, 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 ah, my guy, this guy, you know what he does, he just takes the flowers and throws them outside the window while I'm driving and the car is moving and you <laughs> And then I stopped, I stopped the car. I'm like, what are you doing? And then he's like, you're talking too much. My, my baby uh, cousin brother gets out of the car and picks up the flowers. <laughs> he picks up the flowers and he's now busy, you know, removing the, the, the dirt and, and what have you. Uh, <laughs> I, I, um, my girl did not talk, uh, my, my baby brother, he just, he didn't talk, he just picked, picked the flowers and we get to the um, reception area and my baby brother sees that the dirt is just so much. He goes on the tap and he opens the tap and starts washing the flowers. They were fresh flowers anyway, so it was okay. He washed them and then they are clean and he gives me and he said, you see, you talk too much. Hey, hey, hey. I'm like, hey. God, seriously, this wasn't like a good thing that I did. <laughs> it almost spoiled the whole mood, right? He was really annoyed. And my, my friend didn't talk too much. Like I said, she was just calm, but she was very supportive. Well, wow, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. She was really, really supportive. And then the, the set of stuff, we walk in like nothing. Like nothing has happened, guys. So we danced and we danced. It's like marriage. Don't be fooled by the outside. Things are in the inside. So sometimes like women, we talk too much and we I mean, we get our husbands like, we make them feel like, you know, they, they are not enough or they are not man enough or, or something is missing in our relationship. And we, because we are looking too much on other people's relationships, right? Social media kills. You see all these nice things, the nice photos, the, this, that, that, that. And you think it is like that inside. You know, be contented with what you have. People pretend like us. We were pretending there like everything was fine when he had just thrown the flowers out of the window. Ah, uh, but overall, the whole uh, send off was really okay. It was nice. Um, a lot of people helped. It was really wonderful. So send off is now done. It's now wedding time. Wedding time.
um during the wedding everything was perfect our preparations the rehearsals everything was fine but you remember my problem i don't dance too much eh? so we told the bridal party you guys you can choose the song you know at that time i didn't i, I didn't also know uh which songs at that time were trending i think it was I think on the 29th of December, 2014 December, going into 2015. But then the guys knew the songs that they wanted. So we gave them a go ahead, guys. You know, you're the ones who are going to dance too much as we don't dance too much. So you put any song that you like. Ah, mistake. They choose this chi song. Hey, allergy, 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 allergy. My brother and Kate, they were together and they danced. And then came our time. Ah. My allergies can go dancing and even doing this to me like come, come, come. <laughs> While we were dancing and me, like, you know, all this uh, going, going uh, to him and dancing, go trying to go down. That was six years ago, guys. Ah, don't laugh at the dance. Now <laughs> that was six years ago. This guy now who was the master of ceremony, he was really good, but that guy never made me sit down. Hey. That guy never made me sit down again. I did daddy come once. I stand there, I stand there for like an hour or something like that. Even I remember one of the uh, protocol guys went to him and said, Please let her go and sit down. She's tired. And and also, my friend and his wife, Diva, they came and danced. This one was this were my primary school friends, you know. And it was really nice to have them there. And we danced. He, his daughter worked with Alicia, they were flower girls, so they were really, really supportive. My friends were really supportive. Came the cake time. Melvin was even ready. He told me, I'll make sure I kiss you so that your dad should know. Your dad should even see that I am kissing you too much. I'm like, eh. I thought he was just joking. Came the cake time. Guys, he just kept on going, kept on going, kept on going. Uh -huh. And the people 
quite just but still it was quite embarrassing for me it was quite embarrassing for me because you know my dad i'm just thinking okay my dad is here my mom is here you know all, all that thing but uh, other than that everything went perfectly well we had fun at the end of the wedding i was exhausted i did oh my god i was so hungry i was tired when i went to the um hotel started growing up yeah, i enjoyed my wedding day but this this reception thing i killed me mm -mm. Mm -mm, guys killed me even melvin complained he was like i'm tired <laughs> so i can't wait like to hear your experiences about your wedding day the unexpected that happened the dramas please comment in the commenting section below so that we can laugh about it thank you so much for watching this uh, my video make sure to subscribe so until next time guys thank you for watching happy valentine's day stay enjoy <laughs> Have fun. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.